Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. This is an episode of the hashtag A Tassel A Day that is hosted by the amazing Jovi, who is queen of tassels. She was the, the brainchild behind Tassel Tuesday and still does Tassel Tuesday, as a matter of fact, but she has a different creator doing a tassel every day in the month of April. Today is my day. Well, it's tonight now. I'm babysitting my great grandbaby. Wah. I know y'all are tired of hearing that. Um, but I've got a couple of things to show you. I'm not going to make a tassel for you because you can look at any of Jovi's tassel videos and see how to make a tassel. She is the queen of tassels and she is how I learned to make cloth and fiber tassels. So without further ado, let me show you. I wanted to do a kitchen tassel or recipe tassel anyway for my recipe slash kitchen slash cookbook journal that is in process and has been for some time. So I wanted it kind of grungy and here it is. I took some coffee dyed quilt uh, mattress ticking, some yo-yo some of you will recognize from my thrifty thrifted treasures. I've got some black and white polka dot fabric there is some strawberry fabric and this blue eyelet type fabric. And I tied a knot, you know, and, and I wanted this to be floppy because this may hang off of my cookbook. I might hang it in here. I kind of like it. It grows on you, but I wanted it fluffy and it's definitely fluffy. And I used all of my vintage red and green yo-yos. Here I did a little knot bow with the chili peppers. So that is my kitchen tassel. So you just take a bunch of strips, which is what I did, and lay them out and then tie them up. There's lots of different ways to do it, but I think this turned out really, really cute. And it looks kind of uh, primitive, which, and, um, a little grungy without being too grungy because you know that's just how I roll and my fabric wants to twist but anyway I thought it turned out so cute so I hope that you like it you ought to try a tassel there's so many people doing them some people are showing you how they make the tassels it just takes me too long and you would stop watching the video so <laughs> I may yet hang some other charms on this tassel. I've got lots of um, kitchen charms, but I couldn't figure out in the time I had how to do it today. But I've got like this frying pan. Isn't that cute that I wanted to put on here? And I may yet, or I may do a different style of tassel that I'll show you. I've got this little owl measuring spoon. I've got a little coffee cup. I've got a little frying pan with an egg in it. I think I've got a spatula over here. I've got some knife, fork, and spoon. Here's a little tomato. Some moonshine. <laughs> some mushrooms. You know, just, just different things that could be kitcheny. I'm not sure where I put my spatula. But anyway. Those are some things I might incorporate into this, or I may use these to hang off of in my journal. So, shove that back over there. Now, I have another tassel to show you that's more like a jewelry dangle, or, or journal jewelry they're called. Someone made this for me, and I do not remember who it was, so please, if you're the one who made, gifted this to me, please remind me who you are because I absolutely love this dangle. Look at this. And you have to see it hanging up, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. All of these gorgeous charms. So you just, they just took one of these a jump ring and hung different chains and then from the chains hung pieces of chain with different charms 
And this is kind of what I want to do, wanted to do with the, um, the ones I showed you, the kitchen charms. Hang them on some chain and do it this way. I've got this tangled. I mean, this, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All kinds of fun stuff on here. And I, I love cameos. So they had a cameo. And there's a letter D for Dale. It, I, I love this. And I can't believe. I mean, I think I know who did it. But because I'm not sure, I don't want to say. <laughs> So please comment below if you're watching and you made this for me because I absolutely cherish this. It is, it is gorgeous. And so this is another style of tassel that you can add to one of your journals. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, wow. It's even got a little pumpkin right there. So anyway, this is a style, and you can add whatever charms you want. Like I said, all my kitchen charms and stuff, I'm going to try to do one for that. But this is what I made, but I just had to show this to you um, for the challenge for today. My grungy, floppy yo-yo tassel. I'm going to call it a yo-yo tassel because it got yo-yos and chili peppers. Red hot chili peppers. So I hope you liked it and are inspired more than because I didn't show you how to make anything. But again, you can go to Jovi's channel and learn how to make all kinds of tassels. She has made tassels upon tassels upon tassels that you wouldn't believe. And I would show you a couple that I bought from her, but I'm cleaning out my craft room and I don't know exactly where they are because I put them up. However, I do have, now that I'm thinking about it, a couple that I did not buy. This is one that I won that Jovi made. All the same, it's vintage sheet that is torn in strips and I love it. So you can use all the same kind of fabric too and just make it as full as you want. Oh, I've hit something, haven't I? Whoop. Sorry about that. And then she put a charm jewelry dangle right in the middle. It's a shabby chic. Isn't that pretty with all these charms hanging off of it? Beautiful. So that is one that Jovi made that I won. Then I got this one from someone. And I'm horrible. I don't remember who it was but it's sweet nonetheless it's got some fibers some lace and ribbons and it's got some bead strung super cute kinds of laces and buttons and beads just adorable so these give you an idea of some different ways that you can make them more plain with just a jewelry dangle, thread you some beads, a true jewelry dangle, a grungy whatever, like, like I made, or you can just do very simple. You could just do two or three fibers and, and um, pieces of sheet and let that call it a day. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It's whatever you want it to be. So anyway, I hope this gave you some ideas and I hope you liked uh, my video and are inspired to create your own tassel. Be sure to watch everyone that is doing a video on the tassels. I will link them all in the description box below so that you can check them out. And I hope you have a wonderful evening and remember how much you are loved. God loves you and so do I. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.